Hi, my name is Damien from Voyal. What we're developing is the ability to see through materials, penetrate and give you a vision beyond the normal human vision. Our company began as building a device for breath cancer imaging to detect malignant growth inside the human breath. What we found out is that a device can do much more than just breath cancer imaging. It can look into materials. For example, it can look into walls and see the pipes where the wall, inside the walls. It can look into milk and determine the ratio between fat and protein so we can test if a cow is sick or is it being malnourished. What we're going to show you today is a few demos we're using the Arctic for. The first one you can see over there. This is one of our boards. You can see it here. This is the wall itself, as you can see, it's completely opaque. Since we're using RF radiation and we can penetrate into materials, there's no need for holes. We can hide this behind a wall, behind a painting, whatever you feel like it. And it's connected directly to the Arctic, doing the processing and the communication with the device. You can see it tracking me on the screen behind me. So, it can track me moving towards the device, back from the device, and perpendicular to the device. So that's 2D. What it can also determine is my height. For example, it can alert us if I fell down. Let me show you that. You can see that the image turned red above to indicate that I fell down. This way we can monitor the people in the room without invasion of privacy, since we're using RF signals and not a camera. And we can track targets very accurately across the room and determine how many people are there, what the position is, and if, for example, when caring for the elderly, someone fell, we can alert and send a signal so people can check that. Our solution, since it's based on chip, is very mobile and very consumer friendly. We can make it as large as you need or as small as you need, depending on your need. We can also tailor the solution to your specific needs. I want to show our next demo, which is right over there. So for this demo, I'm going to show our ability to detect very small motions and through that detect the breathing patterns. So what we have here, we have a device connected to the Arctic and it's going to track my chest movements. So if you look at the graph above, it's showing me moving at the moment. What I'm going to do, I'm going to breathe normally for a few minutes and then you can see the graph stabilizing. And then I'm going to hold my breath and you can see the graph going down and detecting that I'm no longer breathing. And now I'm going to hold my breath. As you can see, once it's no longer detecting my breathing, it indicated that I'm no longer breathing and set up the red light. We can use that to track the elderly people and their health. We can use it to track babies or even detect your sleeping condition and adjust the environment. Lower the lights, bring on the AC, whatever you need to make your sleeping pattern better through detection of the breathing pattern.